If you're a 3D artist who's driven to grow and master high poly asset creation, this Phoenix Ruin series is for you. In part one of the series, using Houdini and Unreal Engine 5, we build this medieval ruin asset kit from scratch consisting of over 200 million polygons. Throughout this eight chapter course, we kick off chapter one with prepping. Here we explore world aligned grid materials using vertex colors and why they're useful. We build both the grid texture and materials in Maya and Unreal Engine 5. If you're not comfortable using Maya, feel free to use your preferred DCC package. In Chapter 2, Block Mesh, we dissect the provided level design geometry to identify and block out rough representations of each kit piece. We import those pieces into Unreal Engine, where we block out the ruin and create the necessary kit blueprints where needed. Chapter 3 brings us into Houdini. It's here where we create the wall builder, brick cutter, brick offset and geometry exporter tools to help quickly iterate and create the low poly rough mesh representations of our asset kit. Chapters 4 and 5 focus on destruction. In Chapter 4 we take the time to art direct our destruction by carving out holes and breaking asset pieces to represent their final kit geometry. Once we're happy with the macro shapes, in Chapter 5 we use Houdini's rigid body dynamics to introduce some chaos into the mix. We smash objects into our assets to give them an organic and worn feel. Chapter 6 is where our kit geometry takes on its final look. We create tools to procedurally add surface and edge damage to our assets. We discuss vertex colors and how we can use them in our texturing pipeline before taking the time to build a procedural UVing tool. We switch it up in Chapter 7 by spending time in Substance Designer where we create rock, dirt and lichen texture sets. We discuss texel density and how taking the time to standardize it can reduce material complexity before we build these materials and assign them to our asset kit in Unreal Engine 5. And finally, to top it all off in Chapter 8, we finish up and bring the whole project together by creating our handrail, rock and ruin chunk prop assets. I hope you have as much fun learning and building this awesome rune kit as I did making it. Until next time, take care.